all of this, I would argue, does for us is it gives us not just a model, but it gives us a theology for how we as Christians and we as the church can witness to the kingdom and its righteousness in every area of life, but in a fallen world, in, in what Paul calls the present evil age. And, it, and, and this is what's so important. It does it in a way that lets the church be the church. Some reformed approaches to cultural engagement emphasize transforming culture so much that not only do they become triumphalistic, but the church ends up actually losing the central place. For Calvin, the church is central to the way the kingdom breaks into this age. The church is central to the way we witness to the kingdom and its righteousness, including in areas like care for the poor and social justice. And yet, for Calvin, this happens in a way that avoids triumphalism, it avoids political fundamentalism, and it avoids separatism. And I think it equips us as Christians then as the organic church shaped by this institutional church and its social presence to pursue the kingdom and its righteousness in our vocations um, in every area of life with a, with a theology that tells us we're not going to bring Christ's kingdom. Um, that's something only Christ can do. But we will nevertheless faithfully witness to it, even if that means suffering and taking up the form of a servant.